Hi everyone, welcome back. The NBA's preseason will start this Friday, and the regular season starts on December 22nd. Like the past season, this season is another shortened season with only 72 matches for each team. This summer, all teams made changes to their rosters or team management. I'm going to share my thoughts on the expectation of the teams in two videos. Golden State Warriors. This year, they used the second pick, selected James Wiseman, the center from University of Memphis. Since Clay Thompson injured earlier in practice and gonna miss the entire season again, this team may seems to switch the formation of small ball rotation, like James Wiseman and Andrew Wiggins with the other three players on the guards' position. This may be the key to bring the Warriors back to the playoffs this year. Atlanta Hawks. This year, the Atlanta Hawks selected Onyeka Lokangu, the power forward from USC, and signed with Rajon Rondo. The addition of Okangu is the improvement to their line competition, and Rajon Rondo's addition brings some other experiences to this young team. Rajon Rondo and Trey Young could become another good goal in NBA. The Hawks are a great competitor of playoffs this season. New York Knicks. Although they signed Obi Topping, the forward from Dayton University, however, this team still seems to be lack of enough competition. The head coach Tom Thibodeau didn't have a decent record previously at Timberwolves. Therefore, the Knicks are still going to be one of the bottom team in the leagues. Minnesota Timberwolves. With the pick of Anthony Edwards, Timberwolves could experience with some improvements in their total season wins. While this young man has obvious shortcomings that could hurt the team so much, which stops them from climbing to a better ranking. Phoenix Suns. The lineups of Phoenix Suns seems to be the most fabulous among the teams so far. Last season, they almost qualified for the playoffs. This season, not only for the qualification of playoffs, maybe they will become one of the most surprising teams to the fans. New Orleans Pelicans. The greatest improvements of this team is the guard. They acquired JJ Redick and Kira Lewis Jr. with Zion Williamson. This team seems ready for the playoffs. Philadelphia 76ers. To be honest. I don't see any deep changes to this team. The rooster doesn't seem like being strengthened, and the coach Doc Rivers could even be a worse choice compared to their previous coach. Memphis Grizzlies, not very big changes, but the addition of Xavier Tillman to this team. Last season, the Grizzlies choked at the final eight matches in Orlando and missed the playoffs. This could happen again this season. Los Angeles Clippers. After several seasons no entering to the Western Finals, they fired the previous coach Doc Rivers. The new hire coach Tyron Lue coached the Cavaliers and helped them win the 2016 NBA champion. Could he repeat the story back to that time? We'll find out. Houston Rockets. The Rockets hired Stephen Silas as the new head coach. Two weeks ago, the deal with trading Russell Westbrook for John Wall may not seem like a smart choice. However, the Rockets acquired some good centers, which could help them protect the rims. They also bought Kenyon Martin Jr. from Sacramento Kings. This may not be a super successful season for the Rockets, but at least there will going to be no problem in round one of playoffs. What's your ideas? Let me know.